Why are there no jaguars in Africa? To answer this question, let's first consider the jaguar's habitat, behavior, and diet and where it is currently found. The jaguar, Panthera onsa, is one of the five large cats found on our planet today. With a body length of six feet and weighing in at just under 350 pounds, this impressive animal is native to the Americas. Its yellow and tan coat is dappled with black spots and rosettes, giving it camouflage within its dense forest habitat. It is a solitary animal that is adapted to hunt in this undergrowth. It stalks its prey before ambushing it and killing it with a bite to the back of the head or neck. Jaguars have the third most powerful bite amongst the big cats. After tigers and lions, they can bite through turtle and tortoise shells and crush skulls. Its diet consists of capybara, giant anteater, and marsh deer. They are also excellent swimmers and regularly catch fish and caiman, often diving underwater to do so. Today, jaguars are native to South and Central America, including Mexico, Paraguay, Argentina, and the Amazon. There are also small numbers in the Southwestern United States. None, however, is found in Africa. The big cats that are found on the African continent are lions and leopards. These big cats live alongside smaller felines like cheetahs, servals, caracals, and wild cats. The jaguar evolved in the old world about 2.5 to 3 million years ago. It migrated into North America via the Bering Land Bridge about 2 million years ago. Then, during the Pleistocene, it disappeared southwards throughout North America and into Central and South America. The North American Pleistocene subspecies Panthera onsa augusta gave rise to today's living jaguars. By the mid-Pleistocene, the jaguar's range had declined significantly and so, too, had its body size. Although today's jaguars are about 15% smaller than their Ice Age predecessors, they are still about twice the weight of leopards, but with shorter and more powerful limbs. They are therefore stocky and incredibly strong for their size. They also have the most robust canines of any feline relative to their size. We know jaguars obviously survived in the Americas, but where did they originate from? Jaguars are more closely related to lions and snow leopards than the other Panthera species. But while lions spread from Asia into Africa, with some remaining in Asia, and snow leopards stayed in Asia's mountains, jaguars mostly spread eastwards and westwards from Asia. More recent evidence suggests that some must have descended through Africa as well. Until recently, it had been assumed that the pantherines of today, which include lions, tigers, leopards, snow leopards, clouded leopards, and jaguars evolved from a common ancestor native to Africa. This didn't seem to make sense given the wide geographical locations of these big cats. However, the oldest phalid fossils had always been found in Africa. In 2013, a fossilized big cat skull belonging to a pantherine species, Panthera blythe, was found in Asia. This predates the African fossils placing the pantherine's common ancestor at four to six million years ago, much older than previously thought, and in Asia. In addition, molecular research has always pointed towards an Asian origin for the big cats. So too has the geographical location of big cats today. Their distribution across the globe suggests they originated in Asia rather than Africa. This new fossil evidence backs up this assumption and brings together molecular, living, and fossil data into a unified view of pantherine evolution. Early pantherines existed in Central Asia from the late Miocene and into the Pliocene. They originated on the Tibetan Plateau. Panthera blythe was a common ancestor of the Panthera genus from which the five big cats diverged from. The first scientifically recognized jaguar species is known as Panthera gambazogensis and its fossils date back to the Pleistocene, about two million years ago. It was the first pantherine cat to colonize Europe, and it did so because it was incredibly adaptable. It was able to inhabit a vast range of habitats and prey on a variety of animal species. If lions and leopards both had a common ancestor with jaguars, 
Why are they found in Africa? And jaguars are not. We know that jaguars did inhabit Africa once because of the fossil evidence found there. Fossils of ancient jaguars found in Tanzania, East Africa, are dated at about 3 million years old. If jaguars did originate in Asia, maybe they migrated from Asia into Africa before the formation of the Sahara Desert. The Sahara is close to 5 million years old. While other jaguars infiltrated Europe and the Americas, maybe those in Africa became trapped south of the Sahara. The Sahara Desert may have become an impenetrable barrier, preventing jaguars from migrating back into Asia and Europe. We know that dispersal across the globe just isn't a one-way route. Cheetahs migrated to North America from Eurasia before returning to Asia, and then subsequently migrating to Africa, where they are found today. The movement of jaguars across the globe could have been a fluid migration, rather than following a single route ending in South America. Could the changing climate of Africa during the late Pliocene have affected jaguars? If so, why did it not affect the other cat species found there? Lions were roaming Africa from the late Pliocene, and leopards from the Pleistocene. During the Pliocene, when jaguars were evident in Africa, the African continent was changing. As the Earth's temperatures cooled down towards the end of the Pliocene, Africa became drier and arider. With grassland habitat dominating, jaguars may not have adapted well to these changes. Today, jaguars prefer tropical and subtropical climates amongst forests, swamps, and wooded regions. Perhaps Africa's changing habitats forced them into local extinction. This is merely speculation, however. It is difficult to understand just why jaguars did not thrive in Africa, because they are well known for their incredible adaptability and ecological toughness. The survival of the jaguar throughout the Pleistocene, with its highly variable glacial and interglacial periods, is largely attributed to this adaptability. When the Americas saw the mass extinction of its large herbivores, many of the predators, such as the American lion and the saber-toothed cats, died out too. But the jaguar responded by changing its prey source. It began to hunt smaller prey. It avoided conflict and adapted to hunt in more closed habitats. Over time, its body size reduced as a result. Could African lions and leopards have outcompeted the jaguar? Although interspecies competition is a valid argument when it comes to other cat species that have since become extinct from Africa, such as Homotherium and Denophilus, it doesn't seem a likely cause when it comes to the jaguar. This is because in North America, during the Pleistocene, jaguars and lions appeared to avoid each other. This prevented interspecies competition. At Rancho La Brea Tar Pits, which is a gold mine of preserved bones from animals that became trapped there thousands of years ago, there are plentiful finds of American lions, but none of the jaguar. Where jaguar fossils have been found in North America, there have been no fossils of lions in the same area. There is no definitive answer as to why there are no jaguars in Africa. They were once there, but like so many species, over the millennia, they vanished. They are clearly an adaptable species that once dominated the globe and found their home in South, Central, and parts of North America. The globe has changed so much since the Pliocene and Pleistocene. If jaguars were reintroduced into Africa, could they survive? This is an interesting question, and it's possible, but their niche has probably been filled by another one of the 10 cat species currently living there. We often mourn the extinction of iconic beasts, such as woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats. But it's the species like the jaguar that survived the mass extinctions that we should be celebrating. How did they overcome such adversity when others failed? Why did the American lion perish at the end of the Ice Age while the jaguar survived? Answering these questions will better equip us for threats to today's incredible flora and fauna. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Time. Time.